So are you tired of every medical news story being about the flu? Let's talk about something different. Let's talk about stomach bugs. Because last weekend, as I was cleaning my son's barf out of the floor mats in the car, I thought, there is a community outbreak going around, and this is a timely topic. So let's talk about stomach bugs. So the symptoms that you can get with a stomach bug are variable, but they typically include some combination of feeling pretty bad, uh, potentially having some fevers, sometimes kind of high, nausea with varying amounts of vomiting, <clears throat> and then diarrhea. Now, if you've got horrendous vomiting and you can't keep anything down, then what I'm about to talk about won't be of much use to you because I want to talk a little bit about rehydration. So if you think I am dehydrated, then the response is to say, well, I need more hydro. I need more water. Well, from a rehydration standpoint, if you've got a lot of diarrhea, water's okay, but you're not just losing water, you're also losing electrolytes. Sodium and potassium and chloride and bicarbonate. Water's gonna replace the water, but it's not gonna replace the electrolytes. <clears throat> and so while water is good, water is imperfect. So then folks will often say, well, what about a sports drink? Because you know, these are formulated to have electrolytes, right? Well, kinda. So a lot of sports drinks will have a lot of sugar and some electrolytes, but they don't exactly match up what you're losing. So you're losing water, you're losing electrolytes. This will put back some of the water and this will put back some of the electrolytes, but not enough of the electrolytes and too much sugar. So sports drinks, okay, not great. What about ginger ale, often touted for settling your stomach? And indeed, the ginger can sometimes help. That can sometimes ease the nausea just a bit. But this is basically sugar water, tons of sugar, way more than what's appropriate for rehydration, and really no electrolytes to speak of. So this may be okay for settling your stomach, not very good as rehydration. So then, if you go to the pharmacy section, you can get rehydration drinks that are very well developed to match up with WHO uh, recommendations for different constituents. What's the problem? Ah, it's like drinking fruit-flavored sweat. This stuff tastes terrible. And this is four bucks. That's a lot of money. Now, it works pretty well, <clears throat> but it's not the most enjoyable thing, and it's not the best thing to pay for. So what's another strategy you can use? Well, here's what I'll often suggest to folks. Orange juice, this is a 16 ounce cup. <clears throat> so if you take about a third of it as orange juice, the rest of it as water, and then you add to it a little less than a quarter of a teaspoon of salt or baking soda, so it's not quite enough sodium to match the WHO criteria like this has, but it doesn't taste like you're drinking a sweaty orange. And it's a whole lot cheaper. So I hope this is useful information. Uh, for more videos, check us out at sentinelprimarycare.com. I'm Dr. Patrick O'Connell.